Hello everybody, welcome back to Photoshop Magic. My name is Sopal and right now as you can see in the thumbnail right here we are going to continue off with part 3 of the Marvel Black Panther for the 3D effect, the pop-out effect out of a smartphone. So as you can see right here we have uh, two images of Black Panther and a smartphone right here and was able to combine the two to make the his background right here to be flat and also make him you know have a 3D effect uh, popping out of the phone. Okay, so without further ado, we're just going to get started. And if you want to see the creative process of making this thumbnail, it's also a three-part series, possibly even four. Uh, it is a lot of work, so I decided to, to have it uh, as a separate video. It's also going to be in the description below. Okay, so, and if you are new here, welcome to Photoshop Magic. And feel free to subscribe, like. Uh, it's really, it, it does help the channel out a lot. The more likes uh, we get, the, uh, the more video is going to be shown to a lot more people. Okay. So, and also we have the license attributions also in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. So yeah, so we left off on part two right here. Uh, you'll find part two in the description below also. So right now we were able to, to we're gonna continue off to where we left off, okay? So now that we have this layer right here, the Black Panther layer, we need to uh, make a copy of it, okay? So what we're gonna do we are going to make a copy of it by uh, a shortcut. Well, now that it's highlighted, we're going to hold the control button down. We're going to tap J on the keyboard. Okay, and it's going to, as you can see, it made a copy of Black Panther copy. So the next thing that we do, we have to make sure that just the second layer mask of the Black Panther copy layer is selected. So which is this one right here, the layer mask. So as you can see right now, it is the only one that's selected because it has this, you know, four highlight buttons on the outside of it. So now we need to go to the eye of the the Black Panther layer right here. So we're gonna turn it off, okay? So now we are going to go back to the Black Panther copy layer. So we're gonna scroll back up to the top. So make sure make sure the only the mask section is, is highlighted. And what we are going to do is we are going to uh, press the sh keyboard shortcut Control I. Okay, so if done correctly, you should be able to see this where uh, basically we only see the shape of Black Panther and, you know, just the background right here. So the reason why that is important, if I turn it off, it, there, it's going to disappear, right? So this layer, this Black Panther copy layer now, is does not include Black Panther himself. Um, so we turn that off and we turn this one back on, you only see Black Panther. Okay, so we need to understand the, the, the to distinguish between the two. Okay? All right, so uh, that's off. Perfect, just like so. So we want to turn the the eye of the Black Panther layer back on. Now it's back on, and we're going to turn them both off. Okay. All right, cool. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to make a selection on the phone that we would like to you know, put Black Panther on. And to do that, we are going to need this tool right here, the polygonal lasso tool. We're gonna right click on it. We're gonna click on polygonal lasso tool. Okay, so we're gonna uh, left click right here once in the corner. And as you can see, when we move around, it's gonna go there. So we wanna left click on it once on all these corners. And once we have reached the end, we're gonna double click to make the selection, just like so. So now we need to go back to the Black Panther copy layer and turn the eye back on. So as you can see, we have that section right there. And make sure that only the, the second the second layer mask is selected. So make sure this is the only one that's selected. And now we go to the brush tool. We're gonna go to brush tool right here. We're gonna right click and then left click on brush tool. And you have to make sure that this foreground is white if it's not already, okay? Because it's the opposite right now. So I'm gonna click on this double arrow right here and we're going to switch it to so the foreground which is white right now perfect so what we're going to do is we are going to left click hold and drag this area to to highlight all this section in 
and it's only going to affect, it does not need to be perfect, it's only going to affect the uh, select area on the inside. See, the outside does not get affected because, you know, the eye is not on, just like so. So next thing you want to do is you want to go to the inverse tool, uh, which is up here, and we are going to go to select and click on inverse. It's going to deselect everything else. And now we need to go back to this paintbrush tool right here. We want to need to make sure that the back, the foreground is black now. So we're going to left click right here to so make sure it's black. And now we are going to basically left click, hold and drag on the outside to erase everything out. So this, 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 you know, you do not have to be really careful at all because uh, as you can see, it does not affect the uh, image on the inside of the thing at all because it's a different layer. Okay, just like so. So I'm left clicking, hold and drag. Uh, all this portion out just like so and we want to erase all the backgrounds right here yeah this is a little bit time consuming but you know it's just that's the way it is you know when it comes to creativity uh, you have to be patient just like so and we are literally almost done so left clicking, holding and drag, just make sure, you know, your opacity is at 100% up here. So it's, you know, you're erasing literally everything just like that. Okay. And right after that, very important that you go back to uh, select and you want to click on deselect and we are going to save it. We're going to click on control S. Okay. And I know this does not look amazing right now. We're going to zoom out a little bit, but if we were to click the eye back on the Black Panther layer, you're gonna see amazing part. Look at that. You know, this part did, did not get deleted because this was on a different layer, okay? So there you have it. So you have a, a 3D effect of, you know, Black Panther. We're gonna zoom in a little bit, how amazing it looks, just like so. Okay, of him just popping out of the phone. Okay, all right. So now that we have our final work, what we're gonna do, we're gonna save our work, okay? So we're, we're gonna go to file. We are going to click on save as, and we are just going to give her name. So this is part three. So Black Panther, part three. And we're going to click save. Okay, so the very first save, you always want to save it as uh, Photoshop format, because even if this was our final work, we want to be able to, you know, save it for the, the future in case we want to actually want to, you know, make modification to this, okay? Like, you know, fine tuning all of these things, you know, um, when it comes to Photoshop, you know, the more time you spend on it, uh, the more time you can make it look better. Because I understand that I don't want to make this video much longer because there are certain things that we can actually fine tune and we were to zoom in a little bit. There's a lot of things, but it's quite time consuming to do all of this. So we're just going to, you know, skip it for now until for future videos. So, if, you know, we can actually fine tune stuff. This is just uh, our work for now. Okay, so we're going to go to file. We are going to click on save as. And now we are going to save our work as a regular JPEG. Okay, we're going to click on JPEG. So Black Panther part three. Okay, save it just like so. And there you have it. So if we were to look at the images right here, so Black Panther part three on the phone. That looks super awesome. So we zoom in, this was, yeah, there you go. So 3D effects. Okay, and as always, um, thank you very much for watching my video. If you find any value at all, uh, so consider subscribing. You know, share at the very least, smash that like button. It really does help the channel a lot. Um, the more likes that I get, it, you know, it will share it with a lot more people. And also, I have a uh, few links at the very bottom where you want to, you know, check out my descriptions of. You know, all the tools I use within this channel, uh, feel free to do so. As always, I hope you have an amazing day.